Hey everybody, Cliff Ravenscraft here, and it is Saturday, March 19th, 2016. You know, I kind of chuckle because some of you are probably wondering when I start each day, why do I have to look at my watch to find out what date it is? And the reason for that is because as a solopreneur, at least for me anyway, I often don't pay much attention to what day of the week it is. I'm not one of those guys who is always constantly, you know, is it the weekend yet? Is it the weekend? In my mind, I don't devote some days to work, some days to fun, and then one day or two or three days a week to my faith. I try to integrate all of who I am into the present. Um, I, and, and I live in the moment. I haven't always been this way. I mean, there, was, there were times in my past where I always lived for the next big thing, the next big event. I would always be working for the weekend or I would be working for that next big family vacation or that next huge business trip, that huge business opportunity. But now, I live in the moment and I don't often think about what day of the week it is until I figure out what do I have to do today? What commitments are on my schedule? Who do I have to meet at what time? And once I figure that out, I pretty much forget all about what day it is. Maybe I'm just getting old, <laughs> but I mean, it's not like I'm intentionally saying, ah, okay, now let's just forget what day it is. But it's so funny to me. I wake up some mornings and I'm like, hey, I'm going to go and do this. And they're like, dude, it's Sunday. And I'm like, today's Sunday? Oh, cool, no, I'm not doing anything today. Today is Saturday. It is 3.52 in the afternoon. I slept probably 12 hours last night, which was awesome. And right now, I'm getting things ready to head to the gym. Stephanie and I have back and bicep strength training with our personal trainer. All right, protein shakes are made. Special vanilla protein shake for Stephanie and I'm using up more of my pumpkin spice protein. It is now 4.19 p.m. and getting ready to check in here at LA Fitness. Okay, so I'm getting ready to head upstairs for 30 minutes of cardio warm up. And I was just thinking about how I started this vlog off today and I do want to say that most times I do take the weekends off. I don't work every day and I am taking this weekend off, except for recording and publishing these vlog posts. <laughs> it's 7 p.m. and Stephanie and I are getting ready to have dinner together at this awesome place. Well, it is now 11.30 p.m. and Stephanie is off to bed and I am coming down here to go ahead and wrap up this vlog and get it published. Thing is though, is my day's really not complete yet because Matthew is over at a birthday party and he needs to get picked up at midnight tonight. Interesting thing about these vlogs is that they don't seem very complete when it comes to giving you a true picture of my days. Stephanie's pretty cool about letting me include her in some of my Snapchat snaps. At least I can say she's warming up to them anyway. And the thing is though, is I don't push it too much. And then when it comes to my children, they really don't like the idea that I'm on Snapchat still. They still think it's something that only kids should be on. And for those reasons, you don't really get a full picture of my day because I do spend a lot of time with my family. And again, in full transparency mode here, that's relatively new within the last two or so years. I think it's kind of interesting. I started my whole vlog off early this morning, or was it this afternoon? I can't remember. But the topic is related. Um, I used to be a serial workaholic. I'm not gonna go into all of the details here in this vlog episode, maybe in a future one, or maybe in an episode of the Cliff Raven Scrap Show, but not right now. The thing is, is that I am condensing my days down to vlog posts that are between four to eight minutes in length. I'm often talking about Stephanie running to take the kids here and to take the kids there. But the reality is, is that there's a lot of running that I do during the day. And I can because I work for myself and set my own schedule. For example, if I wasn't telling you this part right now, you would have never known it. But tonight, Megan had work at Chipotle. Uh, she was supposed to have the day off, but they called and asked her if she would come in, and she did. McKenna 
had been invited to a birthday party that's an overnight party that started at 6 p.m. tonight. And I did mention that I do have to go pick up Matthew, but Matthew was also invited to this birthday party that was from 6 p.m. to midnight. So both McKenna and Matthew were to be at two different birthday parties at 6 p.m. this evening. That was their invitations anyway. Before these invitations to birthday parties came in, Stephanie and I were scheduled to work out at the gym with our personal trainer from 5.30 to 6.30. We were able to change our strength training appointment to 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. The idea was that both McKenna and Matthew would be a little late to get to their parties, but they would get to go to their birthday parties. Our desire was for both of them to get to their parties as early as possible. So Stephanie and I made the decision to drive to the gym separately tonight. So earlier this afternoon, McKenna, Megan, and Stephanie left and they dropped Megan off at work and then McKenna and Stephanie met us at the gym. And by us, I mean Matthew and I. Matthew and I drove separately directly to the gym and we waited for Stephanie and McKenna to show up. Matthew brought his iPad and played video games. McKenna brought a book and she read, and during 90 minutes, they just hung out together at the gym while we worked out. After the gym, Stephanie took McKenna to her party. I took Matthew to his party. And in just a few minutes, I'm going to leave and go pick Matthew up from his party. Here's the deal. I don't plan on telling you these details every single time, all the things that didn't make it into the vlog. But the reality is, is that I am very much involved in my kids' lives these days, and that's a very big thing for me. And the only reason why you won't see very much interaction between me and my kids here in my vlog is because it's out of respect to them. While Stephanie has certainly warmed up to the idea of occasionally showing up in my vlog, the kids not so much. So anyway, now it's 11.45 and I don't have time to uh, edit this and publish it before I leave. I need to go now. So I might actually have to publish this tomorrow. Anyway, good night everybody. Until next time, I encourage you to take everything you're doing in life to the next level.